Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of May 22nd to the 28th, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. So I missed you guys so much while I was gone. And I just need to say this really quick. Those of you that donated to the channel, those of you that really, out of the kindness of your heart, that donated, you know, in your comments, your comments, you know, enjoy your vacation, have a drink on me. I think I have close to 8,000 subscribers, and I just find that just so beautiful. You guys are amazing. Like, I, I don't say it enough, but I have said it numerous times that I, I really do feel like I probably have some of the best subscribers on YouTube. You guys are just unbelievably sweet. Um, I, I really... Um, I just truly, really thank you guys so much. Like, truly, from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. I love doing this for you guys. I could not wait to get back. I literally, as soon as I walked in the house, threw the clothes in the washer, and got right on my private readings, that's when you know, you know, you're really passionate and excited about your job, what you do. You know, I just, yeah, it was a long week without interacting with the cards yeah it really was but i'm back okay so i changed it up a little bit this week the overall energy cards are um magical times empowerment cards by jody berksma um if you've been with me f since the beginning i've used these cards before um, very powerful, accurate cards. Expectation. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. Beautiful. So expect great things this week. You know, you're also this week, you are going to let go of the past to make room for the new. You know, you're going to really just appreciate what you ha what you had, what you have now, and you're going to create space, you know, for, for more, for new, you know, an expectation, what is coming, you, you just feel grateful. Um... But I definitely think it's more of, you really are, you know, letting go of the past you know, for something more beautiful, grounded. Like we do have release. I'm using Dorian Virtue, Riley Valentine's Angel Tarot. And release is the death card. The end of a phase Or situation spiritual spiritual transformation take time to move on you know, so with the death with the death card you know it, it's a, it's it is ending you know it's final there's just no more you know because it's no longer serving you it's it's time to move on you know sometimes it's necessary to you know take our time you know moving through these changes you know, it's also a card of, you know, transformation for the better. You know, completing a chapter in your life so that you could move on, you know, toward the new, you know, toward the next chapter. You know, it's transitions in your relationships. We do have the two of cups. You know, transitions in your relationships where, you know, things just aren't going to be the same. You have, a, but you have beautiful energy here. I mean, you're definitely moving forward in some way, shape, or form. Um, you know, we have new home here. We have new location. 
<coughs> my gosh, Leo. I apologize. Um, we picked a terrible week to get away. Terrible. It was I. We froze our asses off all week. Literally. Um, spiritually, I feel great. I just think I'm coming down with a cold. I really do. Okay. So I really I apologize. So now we have the six of Earth, six of Pentacles. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan. Paying off debts. It's card of prosperity, inheritance. You know, family. New opportunities are coming. It could be a job, a home, a gift. You know, the Six of Pentacles, you know, I definitely see it as a generous energy. You know, it rep represents giving or receiving. You know, giving or receiving something. You could be given some somebody something, you know, or you could, you know, or receiving or vice versa. I feel like you're trying to end something, though, in a practical way. In a balanced way. Um, you're just trying to take care of it in a balanced way to bring harmony to the situation and whatever this ending is it is the card of Scorpio and also a Scorpio could be very important for some of you But it's definitely referenced around either a business partnership, you know, or a relationship with the Two of Cups here. Um, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Now, the Two of Cups, you know, it, it is a card of falling in love, connecting on a deeper level with someone. Spending a lot of time together with someone. It is a soulmate connection card for me. You know, it could absolutely be, you know, be the start of a beautiful relationship. You know, Two of Cups represents two people starting something. You know, it could be a family member. It could be a business partnership. On the, on, on the relationship level, though, this is, you know, two people... You know, definitely growing closer, deepening that bond. And especially in this deck, it's very spiritually. Connected. But something definitely needs to end. Before something new could start. Whatever it is that you're doing, though, it really is the perfect timing. Now, I know you guys have never seen these cards before. Beautiful, right? Also by Doreen Virtue. Um, I actually was feeling generous <laughs> this week. Um, these are um, really my my personal go-to cards. Um I'll be very honest, I, I don't share them with anybody until this week. I haven't. I haven't shared them. Um, but I pull them out when I said I'm due. I'm using it for these guys this week because I miss you guys so much. And this card, I mean... It is the perfect timing for whatever this situation is that you're 
thinking about, concerned about, absolutely move forward this week, Leo, with confidence and expectancy. Expect the best. Now, it's ironic how... Let me say this, this too. There's no delays this week. There's no hesitation this week because it, it it's perfect timing. It's divinely guided. Conditions are totally ripe. Even if you do not feel prepared, doesn't matter how you feel, you're moving forward. And just rest assured that I mean, whatever this is for you, because it's definitely a move. From healing with the with the fairies, we have new location. And messages from the fairies, we have new home. Which is just amazing. I don't think I, I know I've never seen these cards come out together like this. So, Leo. There's a change of venue is coming your way. Most likely, you are moving to a new residence. However, this card also means that you know, you're changing lo the location of your employment. Maybe you've been doing a lot of thinking about moving to a new home. You know, this card signifies that it really is time to consider that change. This card could also mean that your place of employment is changing. You, know, you could be right on the cusp of finding a new job or a promotion. A promotion That would be a very generous, generous offer. But being promoted, you know, in a different office, but in the same building. But it also could be a totally new location where it requires you to have to move to a new home. Whatever it is, this new location... This, this new promotion, job, trust that, that this change really is for the better. Now with new home, messages from the fairies, moving is a step in the right direction for you. Beautiful card. There's abundance in this. There's a lot of abundance where you really do feel grounded, balanced. Some of you, I do feel like you have to make a decision. But, you know, with this card, how do I want to say this? Uh, um, I don't want to repeat myself. I mean, you're definitely moving to a new location with positive results. Um, it's possible you could be um, deciding to move in with your partner. You and your partner buying a new home together. If you are moving out of the state, you know, you absolutely could be contacting a real estate agent. Definitely your relationship 
definitely um, hurled a big change, a big move. But whatever it is, I mean, this, this moving forward, new home, new job, new relationship, a business partnership, very abundant. Some of you really could be receiving an inheritance, a loan to start a new business to buy this new home. It's in, if it's an inheritance, it could be quite large. Enough where you could really um, have enough to help other people. The dolphins and the mermaids, it's a card I do not see often. Alchemy, you, know, you have the Midas touch right now and everything you turns Everything, every project you begin turns to gold. So, for those of you that don't don't really know what an alchem what an alchemist is, you know it is someone that turns you know precious stones, metal, um, into gold, and you know it's just really one of those times. You know, with the energy of all the heightened success surrounding you and your endeavors, you're, 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 you're taking ordinary projects and making them come alive with many blessings and abundance. It's just you're on a roll this week. You know, it is a card of making dis decisions and choosing wisely. Uh, you know what? This this next card just sums it up. I mean, I would I was gonna say definitely listen to your intuition. You know. Something def definitely is completing in however this resonates for you this week. And with this card, you know, you, you're definitely on a roll. You know what you want. Let your heart lead the way, really. And you are being divinely guided, but really, pay attention this week, too. Just decide wisely, and whatever it is for you, but I do feel like you will. According to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew 9, 29. Loving words from Jesus. For those of you that want to pick up the Bible and read that verse this week, beautiful. But every time I see this card, I know I never really touch base a lot on the on this particular card, but you know, I do feel like you're just being pointed. You know, literally, I mean, especially with this card too. You know, just pointed and, and literally divinely guided, you know, to the right person, on the right path, to the right job, to the right home. You get what I'm saying, right? Listen to your intuition. Definitely. Okay, love and romance. Wow. So these are Wheel of the Year by uh, Lo Sarbeto. My absolute, one of my most favorite decks ever. I do use these a lot in my private readings. Um, 80 some private readings with this deck, spot on. Yeah, that's why I've been continuing to use it. Um, gotta be true. 
six of wands. Beautiful, beautiful in this deck, right? That's exactly how you guys feel. Like you're dancing on top of the world. Just feeling passionate, excited, you know, wanting to celebrate, wanting to have fun. Just success, victory, feeling on top of the world. Well, you could be getting to know somebody, getting to know each other, the Romance Angels cards, during virtue. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Beautiful. Karma could be a very karmic relationship. Divine timing. Very karmic. So is the Two of Cups. You've known each other before. You know this person. Some way, shape, or form. Maybe you had an intimate relationship with them. Maybe you didn't. It doesn't matter. You definitely know them. Could be a Scorpio. Sun, moon, or rising. Maybe a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But I feel like this is more your energy for sure. Wow. Wow. Sitting right next to the Two of Cups. This could be the one you've already met. The romantic partner you seek. When I say just 10 seconds ago, right? Spirit, love you. You know this person. Make contact. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Usually in my readings, especially in love readings, if it's not you, it's the person you're thinking about. You're involved with, you usually, you'll, you know if the reading resonates with you or not when I'm talking. But, um, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, definitely initiate contact this week. There's somebody on your mind. Be open to whatever, to whatever comes next. It might be just the music your heart's been waiting to hear. If it's in love, I mean, really, guys, it's Leo, it's just beautiful for all of you this week. You know, I think your biggest hump is this ending. I feel like some of you are ready for it, have decided, and others of you haven't. The sooner you do, the sooner, I mean, this comes to you. You know, it's, sadly, it's looking more towards the beginning of next week. But those of you looking for a home, a new job, you could be absolutely signing that, bringing that to a close. Definitely. I feel like you just can't agree. You know, you and your partner can't agree on this new new location or this new home. But you will. You'll figure it out. Not the end. Not the end of this week. The beginning of next. But overall, though, Leo, I mean, really, expect the best this week. Really, beautiful card. Beautiful card. Beautiful energy for the week. Really, love it. Guys, have a beautiful, blessed, passionate week. Definitely. Give your love lives. New, it's fresh. Could absolutely be a soulmate. For sure. Absolutely. Maybe a Scorpio. Fire, fire sign. Just see what the bottom card is. Wow, full. Definitely a new beginning. Um, I was really looking for another sign, but the Four of Pentacles was the next card. But, um,
four of pentacles like you know what keeping things to yourself i feel like maybe just not ready to make that decision for for a small number of you but if not you definitely maybe the other person but really it's beautiful energy beautiful energy to work with this week leo i love it all right guys thank you so much for taking the time to view the video i hope you guys have a beautiful blessed week you should by the looks of your cards um i will see you guys back here soon with the morning oracle cards take care bye bye